and I wanted to ensure, assure them and ensure the public health employees that in my discussions with public health, the budget that was allocated to them is enough to cover payroll. It is not going to result in furloughs and also that it was going to be enough to cover Medicaid for the year. But there will be a $3.7 million cut for public health, as there will be for most other agencies. And that's the sticking point. The administration has been pushing for a revenue projection of $7 million more than what senators adopted to cover the budget needs. I don't think that the body was comfortable. Our Office of Finance and Budget advised us against that, and they said they could not support that type of recommendation. And uh, I think there's some out in the business community who think our current revenue projections are still optimistic, and OFB admits that they are. But she says the governor still has 15% transfer authority to shift around for critical agency needs. And in this time of pandemic, public health is one of those agencies that's shouldering a lot of the responsibility. Hopefully our services will not decline. We need more. They need more, and that's really where they're going to suffer is that they can't get more fast enough. We need them to succeed, and that's, that's really my biggest concern. They're holding us up when it comes to the tracing. They're going to allow our economy to open by the success of their tracing and their investigation efforts. And without that, you know, I don't think we can plan an economy. The governor has until Friday to act on the budget bill. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconta.